Hello, welcome to Assignment Model. What do you normally use the Assignment Model for? You use the Assignment Model to distribute your resources. And at the same time, you use it to allocate the uh, jobs to workers. And it will help you to know the best fit where you need to spend your money. Now, you have the popular method for uh, use for solving assignment model and that is the Hungarian method. So we're going to look at how you can use Hungarian method to uh, get your assignment model solved. Now let's look at the steps in using the Hungarian method. The first step is supply the smallest entry in each row from all the entries of each row. Secondly, you have to supply the smallest entry in each column from all the entries of each column. Thirdly, make sure each row and column has at least one zero. And the fourth one is to look for the optimality, that is the optimum. So in this case, you discover that when you are able to get it through this, all this, you'll be able to get the final entry. Now let's look at this quickly. <clears throat> there are two ways that the Hungarian method works. You have the balanced and unbalanced. When you're talking about the balanced type, the balanced problem means the number of rows and the number of uh, columns in the problem are equal. E.g., if the problem contains five staff and there are five jobs, that is a balanced uh, type of problem. Then it is unbalanced. If the assignment model, you have the number of rows are not equal to the number of columns. For example, if the problem contains five staff and you have four jobs, in this case, what will you do? You need to balance the problem by taking a dummy job, that is an imaginary. Now, let's look at an example here. Assume you are a head of department in one of the Nigerian universities and you have four lecturers on teaching practice. The lecturers are in Benin City, Lagos, Kano, and Maiduguri. They are to supervise students in four other states. What are these states? Oyo, Rivers, Abuja, and Beni. The table below shows the cost of transportation in Naira between these cities. So you have this the table, and here you have the takeoff point, and here the where they are going to. And these are the amounts they are going to spend. If he has to move from Beni City to Oyo to River to Abuja, you have from Beni City to Oyo 12,000, Beni City to River 8,000, Beni City to Abuja 20,000, Beni City to Benue 15,000. So right now you want to you want to find out, okay, which among all these jobs, how will it go so that you will be able to uh, distribute your resources adequately. So in this case, and um, will we go where? You have to take step one, suppress the smallest entry in each row from all the entries of each row. So these are the rows. You look, which one is the, has in the least amount here? You subtract it from all the others. Here we have 8,000. The second row, the 6,000 is the smallest. The third row, 17,000 is the smallest. The uh, last row, 22,000 is the smallest. And that is what we have repeated here so that you could see the smallest uh, amount as debited in each of them. So when you subtract, 8,000 from this first row, this is what you will get. You subtract 6,000 from this other row, you're going to get this. You subtract 17,000 from the third row, you will get this. You subtract 22,000 from the uh, last row, this is what you will get. Now, having done that, the second thing is to subtract the smallest entry in each column from all the entries of each column. That means you go column by column. So you're going to bring this down here to see how it works. We are re replicating this here. So if you look through these columns, zero is the smallest, look through this column, zero, zero is the smallest, look through this column, zero is the smallest, and look through this column, 3,000 naira is the smallest. So when you subtract column by column now, zero away from all this, it will still give you this, zero away from this column, it will give you this, zero away from the third column, it will give you this, then 3,000 away from that, you see we have this. Now if you look through each of them, let's see if each row and column has at least a zero. So you have zero here, row, you have another zero here, you have another zero here, you have another zero here. There is e. Now column by column, there is zero, there is zero, there is zero. So each row and column has a zero. So the third part now is for us to ensure that each column has zero and that we have done, you can see each of them has zero, 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 zero. So when that has been assured, what do we now need to do? Because this zero, zero, we need to show, indicate it so that we will be able to know where it goes into. So this is a zero here. We have the zero here. So every other thing there, we're going to cross it out. Okay, let's take it row by row. Now let's start from the first row. We have this zero here. And 
every other thing here will cross out. Then the second row, this is it, we have zero here, so every other thing will cross out. Now, in the, the uh, next row, we have zero here, so we're going to cross out this, because this is the first that's zero, so we're going to cross out this. Uh, you see it on that column. We've crossed out this, we've crossed out that. The, the next one, the last row, we have zero here. So since we have zero in this, so we cross out all this. So in this case, look at it again. The way we have taken it, we have picked Benin City, which is in the first row. And looking through the first row, the first zero is under rivers. So we are crossing out every other figure. Now, if you go through Benin City to Abuja, well, we have done with that. Now you come to the second row, <coughs> Lagos. Under Lagos, the first zero here is under Oyo. So we're going to cross out every other figure on that column. Now, if you go to the third row, the third row will discover again that the zero is under Abuja. So we cross out every other one. Then if you go to Maiduguri, the third, the first, uh, uh, the next uh, one uh, is this zero because we have crossed out every other one. So this is what is left. So we now cross out every other thing in that column. So in this case, to so test for the optimality now, we're going to take all these zeros that are means for the first one is Benin City to Rivers. The second one is Lagos to Oyo that should be picked. The Kano to Abuja should be picked. Maiduguri to Benue should be picked. So this is how we're going. So we are now going to have it here. Now we're going to bring it into the original amount. You know, this is the original amount we have from the beginning. So where this, the first one, Benin City to Rivers, it means we'll pick this 8,000 Naira. We're going to pick the 8,000 Naira. Then you have Lagos to Oyo. It means we're going to pick 6,000 Naira. 6,000 Naira will be picked here. Now we have the third column. We have Kano to Abuja. So Kano to Abuja is 17,000. So we're going to pick this 17,000 here. And at the same time, Maiduguri to Benue is 25. So you pick this one. So it means on the long run, what you're going to spend will be 8,000. We'll pick 8,000 plus 6,000. Oh, we didn't highlight this. This is 6,000. That is the first zero. We didn't put it. You have to put it there. So on the long run, we discover that what you want to spend, you pick the 8,000 here plus the 6,000 plus 17,000 plus uh, uh, 25,000 plus 25,000. So if you add it up, let's add and see what it is going to give to us. Quickly do that on your own now. If you do the addiction, you have 8,000 plus 6,000 plus 17,000 plus 25,000. That will give you 56,000 Naira. It means in all, you're going to spend 56,000 Naira. And again, this would have given even distribution for each of these uh, visits. So the person going from Benin City, it will go to Rivers. The person going from Lagos will go to Oyo. The person going from Kado will go to Maiduguri. Uh, sorry, will go to Abuja. And the person going from Maiduguri will have to go to Benue. So with this, all the cities would have been visited and you would have been able to achieve what you need to achieve. Now, to have more on the unbalanced model, here is a video for you. Click on the video and watch. If you click on it and watch, it will give you an insight of more on balance and your balanced model. So with this, I wish you the best as you walk along.